So a lot of people have been asking me lately uh, what I think of Gran Turismo Sport. So I thought instead of answering comments or even writing a blog post, I thought I'd do what I do best and uh, just make a little video giving my thoughts on what I think of the game so far. And I guess the first place to start is, well, what actually is the game? Well, obviously it's called Gran Turismo Sport and it's part of the Gran Turismo franchise, but let's not forget, it's not called Gran Turismo 7. This is something completely different, and to me it feels like a spin-off, kind of like Gran Turismo Concept, uh, which was a game back in 2000 and um, 2001, it had a few different releases, uh, which was centred around concept cars. I mean, largely the series was still based around kind of normal cars and racing cars to an extent as well, but here's a game in the Gran Turismo series that probably the first one that really centred on the idea of concept cars and that's just become a mainstay in the series now and to be honest I think I prefer it back in the days of Gran Turismo 1 and 2 where you bought a rubbish car and you did it up and you took it racing and then you afforded a better car it was kind of based on the cars that you could potentially own in real life but just making their performance way better than you possibly could. But I feel like nowadays, the cars that we're racing, you have almost well, practically no chance of owning whatsoever. A lot of them are concept cars, and some cars are even designed uh, by the Gran Turismo staff themselves, the Vision Gran Turismo cars. So they're not even possible to afford. They, they don't even really exist. Uh, I think one car in particular is the Jaguar F-Type, uh, racing car, I don't know its official name yet, um, but and there's a Peugeot as well that I think they designed, but for the most part, I mean these are cars that you could never ever own in real life. I think it's amazing to think that we've come so far in the Gran Turismo series that they're not just modelling cars, they are actually designing cars nowadays, and I think that's amazing, but Part of me wishes it was still uh, a little bit how it was in Gran Turismo 1 and 2, with the racing modifications and things. But, well, on that topic, one of the things that has been brought back for Gran Turismo Sport is the library editor, and I, I, I can't wait to try that out. I think that's my favourite feature of the new game, and that makes me want to buy it more than anything else, to be honest. And let's not forget, it's not really a new feature, it's just a feature that's been bought back from the original series, you know, Gran Turismo 1 and 2. Um, so it shows that Polyphony are at least listening to the fans um, and giving us what we want in terms of that anyway. So I really can't wait to try that out. There's been a little bit of footage released on it so far, but not really enough to say, you know, the entirety of what that mode of gameplay is all about. So. The main aspect of the gameplay seems to be based around kind of manufacturer cups and you know battling like for your nation, I guess. So I don't know whether a large portion of the game is going to be based around online gameplay. It's not something that I'm massively interested in, to be honest. I mean, call me old school, but I love a game more than anything else where it just has a really good single player mode. You know, that's what I'm all about. But hey, maybe this is the game that will actually get me into online gaming a bit more. So it could have that effect. Um, one other thing that's been discussed between fans is the graphics. Now, obviously the game was unveiled just a few weeks ago, and um, it got a lot of criticism uh, for the graphics themselves. Personally, it's not something that really bothers me. Uh, I'm more obsessed about the gameplay than the graphics. Um, for me, good graphics doesn't equal a good game. It's kind of a nice to have, but it's not a necessity from my point of view. Uh, and don't forget as well that when the game was exhibited a couple of weeks ago, it was said to only be about 50% complete, so I presume there's loads more work to be put into the graphics engine itself. Um, so I can only hope that it will get better and win over a few more fans. Going back to the cars again for a minute, I am actually quite excited, even though I might sound like I'm contradicting myself a little bit. They have introduced some really nice cars that I am looking forward to driving. Uh, again, such as, such as the, uh, the Jaguar F-Type race car, and uh, there was an Aston Martin as well, uh, seen in the gameplay when the game was unveiled, and there were a few more cars as well that I am really looking forward to driving. Um, and I think connected to the cars as well, there seem to be some really kind of solid series of cars. And what I mean by that is, cars of a similar nature that make up a full grid. I think one thing that's really bugged me about Gran Turismo in the past few years is that they release, or at least put into the game, a couple of cars 
um, but you don't really have anything to race against them. One example being uh, Ayrton Senna's Lotus 98T, I think it was. Great car, absolutely amazing to drive it, it really was. Um, but part of me wishes that I wasn't just going around doing like a time trial on my own. What I would really love is a full grid of 80s F1 cars to race against. I mean, that would make for such a better experience. Obviously kind of loads more licenses and cars to model and you know, all of that stuff, but I have to think it would be worth it. It just seems so much more fun than just going around the track on your own. So, for example, uh, obviously you've got like the kind of sports car class, Jaguar, the Peugeot, the Aston Martin, the Renault, uh, and then you've got kind of Le Mans endurance racing cars, and uh, quite a few concept cars in that as well, which I'm looking forward to driving. Um, but then other than that, I think one other race that was shown uh, during the unveil event was just a race full of Mazda MX-5s. I'm a big fan of the Mazda MX-5, but one mate races, I don't know if they're quite my thing. So I'm hoping, obviously, like they will be adding more cars to the game. So I'm wondering how that kind of class will, uh, will develop and what other cars will be thrown in there to compete with the MX-5s. So, I guess that's all I can say for the time being. Kind of mixed opinions so far, but I think more positive than negative. I mean, I think I just have to accept that this is where the series is going. It's based around concept cars and high-end racing cars now. And we've kind of moved away from the whole, you know, buy a car, buy a car that you could potentially buy in real life, uh, soup it up and go racing. Um, but at least they brought back the library editor. I think that was one big thing that they really had to do in order to, well, at least win me over, and I'm sure a couple of other people as well who loved the original games. So I'm excited to hear more about that in particular, and obviously excited to hear more about the game. Thanks for watching.